Hello guys and welcome back. Well, welcome to part 1 or maybe 1.5 of the Stark Let's Play. How Stark Let's Play for the Westeros Still War mod for the for Medieval 2 Kingdoms. Now, first things first, um one thing that happens is there's no victory conditions because the mod is still in beta. So one thing that I can do is, there's a thing that happens in the beginning, I just toggled, just toggled it off for now, the, um, that says, do you want to be the king in the north? And that makes all the other factions hate me. So one thing I can do is, I'm not going to look at anything. Uh, I have these armies here, I have this army here with Bruce Bolton. What I can do is, um, for this campaign, how I can win is by defeating the Lannisters and defeating the uh, King Joffrey. And I win this campaign by taking King's Landing and then proclaiming myself as the King. And yeah, that should be the campaign. Tell me your opinion if I should do that. Or if I should do something else, I, I, I feel those are sound objectives. Um, take out the Lannisters, take out Joffrey, be the king, and that's the campaign done. But if you guys want more, please tell me in the comment section below, and I should be waiting for more. Let me just check, look at High Garden. High Garden looks, probably is the coolest looking uh, uh, in all of these. The, the, um, Storm's End also looks cool, King's Landing looks amazing. Uh, River Run is meh. In here, Castle Rock is meh. Pike looks awesome as well. We have Moat Kaelin and Winterfell. And these this faction is actually the one that has the most custom castles out of all these. So, I know for a fact... I know for a fact that... Um, Bruce Bolton, yeah, he's not a loyal. He is... Not one bit loyal to me. Yeah, I don't. I don't give them. I don't give them. You're right. So I don't want this alt rider. It's a crap unit. So what I can do? Oh, just get out. So I want you to go. First things first. Yeah, I, I am right. Move you there. I swear I want to kill you one day. Okay, yeah, you go there, you go there, and you go there, okay, good, now you go there, just so, just so the, um, the Roose Bolton doesn't desert me, what I can do is just put him in there, just so he doesn't desert me. Okay, good. Now we can march south and take out the the um, the things that they have. Well, another thing I can do is I can make two more armies with the troops they have already in uh, in the castles in towns. Well, only one town. It's Barrow Town, and well, two towns, and White Harbor. It's more of a port rather than a town, as do what you will with it. It's something. This one, I don't I don't need you in there. That John described is just there, just so it's a placeholder. And then these two, can I actually move both? I can. I can move both of these. So I want all of them. I don't want the militias. I want all of my troops to march onto Moat Kaelin and make myself some more armies in the process. Uh, yeah, let's move you as well. Let's see if I can move this guy out as well. I can. I can leave White Arbor without anyone. And one thing I noticed is if Rob dies, Brandon becomes the king, and it's Ramsay Bolton, or if 
Roos Bolton doesn't desert. Roos Bolton becomes the king in the north, which is something odd, but still, it's something. Now, I don't want the Outriders because they're a crap cavalry unit, but I want the other ones because they are actually quite good. And, oh, a bit of lag there. Doesn't matter. Okay, you're 56, but you are 59. Okay, you are both old. Let's move them all to the south. Okay. Can I move all of them? I can. I can leave that old guy in last heart without anyone. And you are Alice Karstark. I'll yeah, why not? Let's send you to there as an agent for now. Okay, Widow's Watch. Can I move? No, I cannot move the last spearman. Let's move there. Okay, keep in mind the very first few turns will be just me moving the armies around and just recruiting more troops onto the armies. Can I move Karstark as well? I can. Let's put them there as well. Is that it? Okay, we're missing Flint's finger. Now, we are a bit unprotected in terms of they can attack us immediately. But the thing is, we have the Riverlands protecting us. And Moat Kaelin is very difficult to take out. So we're, we're kind of in a good shape about that. So first things first, uh, how's our money doing? Okay, we're earning uh, a thousand. So I want to improve some things. Moat Kaelin. Okay, let's White Arbor. Okay, I have that. Um, let's improve Last Heart. The Dreadfort. Communal farming, yes. And more communal farming. Okay. I'm not recruiting any troops for now because I don't really need more troops for now. And I can recruit good men at arms. Men at arms are amazing in this mod. And the Winterfell Guards, I'm they are beastly indeed. They have really good defense, but look at the difference. 15 and they have 19 and 6 attack, they have 8 attack. Less charge bonus though, but still, these guys can hold on for so, so long. And armor swordsmen are a good mix in between. Archers of the North are really long range archers, which is really amazing. So, let's end the first turn of the mod. Okay, whew, that is taking how long? How long has it taken it? Yes. Wow, I'm almost at the end of the episode. Okay, there's the King of the Isles declared. Okay, Officer Joffrey, I'm the largest faction. Officer Joffrey and House Greyjoy are at war. So I want this whole army. And let us march south and these guys will most likely go to moat Kalen. this guy is pretty loyal this guy is really loyal this guy is somewhat loyal this guy is somewhat loyal but we have two really loyal guys uh, in command of that army should we say it's an army and let's move this this army to attack and take this castle here that the Lannisters have, and I shouldn't probably use Roose Bolton in here, but still, I don't want Roose Bolton in command on anything, because, well, it's Roose Bolton. If you guys don't know, or if you haven't seen the series, and if you want to, keep in mind that I will probably be spoiling you from the episodes to come, because... I have seen it, I've read the books until at least book 4, and I know what happens. So yeah, I can <laughs> I can spoil you if you guys don't want me to do that. Just don't watch this. Because there are some things here that I will say out of instinct that I know. 
Oh wow, that's yeah, that's a bit glitchy in the audio. Okay, okay, our money is doing fine. So I want to recruit. For now, I don't want to recruit anything. I want to build stuff. Mot Kalen, yeah, let's build this a Mot Kalen. Flint's finger needs to build beer keep. I'm. I don't really want to build anything on beer keep because I don't. I don't can only build a navy in Flint's finger, and in White Harbor. I don't want to build in White Harbor because I'm. I would have to go around places that I didn't want, and normally I just go down south from there. So let's end another turn, and let's of course press space bar just for them to. Do this quicker. Okay, what is happening? Stannis has the most money. They tie rails have the most production and population, and the Lannisters have the biggest army. And okay, so the um, God damn, I forgot. Iron Man fleet, okay, um, forgot their name. The Greyjoys have taken this castle, but they will most likely not have taken this other castle in this town over here. And over here, there's Lannisport and Casterly Rock. I really want to make them pay. Casterly Rock has a lot of gold, and I want that gold. Because my provinces are not really the richest out of all of them. So, yeah. I'll send another turn, and then I'll most likely end the episode there. Yeah, most likely. There's only a few seconds remaining. So, yeah. New mission. Send an emissary to House Greyjoy. Oh, thank God for that. Oh, um... So, let's send her to there. And military units, okay, that's good. Robert, Robert Bolton. Okay, 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 don't... Yeah, the Greyjoys have taken that. Well, I could have actually taken Bainfort with the cavalry that um, Rob has in the beginning, but it would be a suicide because the, um, they, the Greyjoys would attack me Immediately following that, so yeah, I really don't want them to kill my king in the beginning. So yeah, let me just uh, let's start in Winterfell, just so I have an idea where to start. It's in my capital. Okay, that's building five thousand dragons. Okay, two fifty dragons. Two fifty dragons. Actually, no. You're the last one I actually want to build. 250 dragons. That's about it. Cannot build anything else. So I'm going to end it here. We almost have an army located in here. Let me just end one more turn. And then we'll end it. Because we're actually having a big army. Remote killing. Alice Karstark. Uh, you're really bad. I don't want you as a, one of my generals. Okay, see? We have much more enough for an army right here so all of the archers onto there you go there spearmen there so ar archer there infantry there you two go there and you go there and you go there. Is that it? So you go there. You two go there. And the archers go there. Now it's time for me to start recruiting some infantry. Namely these two. And another archer, why not? Archers are always good. So yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And of course... Goodbye.